Hey there, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. All right, this is going to be a very simple experiment. Right then, welcome to my little camper van. And uh, today's experiment is going to be about the fridge freezer. This is the Waco or Dometic CRX50 little mini fridge freezer. It's a 12 volt compressor fridge freezer. And as you can see, it's mostly fridge, but it also has a small freezer compartment. And my understanding of it is it can be used both as a fridge and as a freezer. Um, so at the moment, obviously, most of this is fridge. You've got your little freezer department up there, but this freezer divider comes out. And apparently, if you switch it onto the coldest setting, which is here, the whole thing becomes a freezer. So I'm going to be testing this out uh, over the course of the next few days as to um, how well this does as a one large freezer. Um, I'm just looking into um, going on a long camping trip and I'm looking at holding a lot of frozen foods uh, rather than uh, just having a fridge. So anyway, let's get this switched on. So it's switched on now and just give it a second to start up. You can hear the compressors just started up. Right, it's already on the freezer setting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shut the door up and I'm gonna leave that overnight. Now, I'm also gonna be keeping an eye on the voltage. This thing is pretty much run from the solar panels up on the roof, um, but I'm gonna be keeping an eye on how my voltage levels go. At the moment, we're on 12.8 volts. Hopefully, uh, you can see that okay, and it's not flickering. Obviously, with the freezer setting on this, I'm gonna assume that the compressor is gonna be going most of the time and it's going to just constantly going to be going so obviously during the daytime we've got the solar panels on the roof running everything overnight uh it's going to be interesting to see whether or not uh this retains its uh power and keeps going uh, but anyway look we've just dropped down to 12.7 volts now now part of this experiment is going to see whether or not the fridge can freeze uh the items from room temperature or whether it's better to have them pre-frozen. So I've got four identical containers here. Each of them have just got water in them. And what I'm gonna do is these two containers here, uh, they, they're labeled up pre, and what I'm gonna do is pre-freeze them, which means these are going to go in my freezer right now in, in the house, and I'm gonna freeze them overnight. And these two are going to go in the freezer right now uh, as the van cools down to see whether or not the van freezer itself um, actually can freeze these. So there we go, those are going into my freezer at home and hopefully they'll be frozen solid by tomorrow. Okay, and these two are going into uh, the fridge freezer in the van. I'm gonna put them on two different levels. So one's higher than uh, the other. It would just be interesting to see what level of freeze uh, these things uh, produce overnight. Okay, good morning. This is the next morning and I've just pulled these out of my freezer from in my house and uh, they're frozen solid. So let's go out to the van and see how the ones in the van are doing. Right, it is uh, about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, so the sun hasn't been up for a, a long time. Uh, we're still on 12.7 volts, so that's good. Nothing's changed. So I can also report that the fridge is not running. The compressor isn't running. That means it's not permanently on all the time. That's good, that's a good sign. So hopefully if I open this, all the lights will be on. Yes, there we go. Right, let's have a look. All right, that is frozen apart from a bubble in the middle that isn't frozen. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you can see the air bubbles moving around inside it. So that's mostly frozen. And then the one further down, again, it's kind of frozen, but it's still, uh, it's still liquid in some parts, so it's half frozen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put those two at the top and I'm going to move these pre-frozen ones down to the bottom. There we go, the compressor's just kicked on. All right, so that's basically been running since yesterday. I'm going to leave that for another day or two and just see how the frozen stuff fares. Now I'm working along the theory that the stuff, if it goes in already frozen, then it won't thaw out. But if it goes in non-frozen, it might struggle to become frozen. 
Um, that's the theory I'm testing with this experiment. So I'm going to come back to this in a couple of days time. I'm just going to leave it over overnight for the next couple of days and then I shall come back uh, and we'll take a look at it and see what's what. Right then, so it is 48 days, 48 days. Right, it is 48 hours later and uh, let's have a look and see what's what. Now, first of all, you can hear the compressor is running. Uh, we're on 13.3 volts, although it's a really sunny day, so that's good. Uh, so plenty of power uh, going. And uh, if we open this up, what, what I did was I did the uh, the pre-frozen ones. I put one at each level, and then the, the ones that I put in here to freeze, uh, put them on two different levels. So let's take this one. This is completely frozen solid, and this started off life in here as water, so that's good. And uh, this one up here is the same. So the two containers of water, just water, that I put into the freezer in here have frozen solid. And uh, you can see uh, there's been no thawing. And the ones that went in that were pre-frozen are still absolutely frozen solid. That's fantastic. So I think we can now safely say that this Dometic or Waco CRX50 fridge freezer does indeed act as a freezer. Um, if you take out the freezer divider and you put it on the high freezer setting, uh, that water is frozen solid. It's been frozen solid for two days. So what that means for me personally is if I go away for long, long trips, I can fill the, uh, this up with frozen food and it will stay frozen for the duration of my trip. So what I'm going to do for a fridge is I'll probably use a, a cool bag because I only have a few things that I want to refrigerate. So I'll just have a, a basic cool bag with uh, one of those freezer packs in it and I'll swap out freezer packs. So I'll keep one freezer pack in the freezer so it's always fro you know, always freezing um, and then I can put the other freezer pack in the, the cool bag and that can then become my fridge and then obviously each day I can swap them over. And I think that's going to work for me and that means I can take frozen meals away with me and uh, just cook them up uh, either in the oven or on the hob as required. So there we go. I hope that was useful to someone. Uh, it's definitely been useful to me. I was really curious about this. So I'm really glad I tried it out and I'm very happy that the results sort of do what it says on the tin. So I'm really, really pleased about that. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.